Hi everyone. Today's 20 minute class is focusing on drills to build strength in your core and shoulders and arms to eventually work towards a headstand. So if you are not really ready for a headstand yet, you can still do these drills because they're just really good ways to strengthen the whole upper body and the core area. Um, and that can help with all aspects of your practice. But otherwise, headstand is what we are working towards. Um, and we're going to need a block or um, a, a book or a rolled up um, cushion or towel, just whatever you have at home. Let's get straight into it. And we're going to begin with the block between the thighs. Okay, so you can place it lengthwise, gently squeezing in with your inside thighs, squeezing into that block. So we're going to start by having the feet flat onto the mat, block between the thighs, and think of really pulling your fingers forward, pulling your chest forward, starting to feel the inner ribs pulling, knitting together. If you're feeling any pain at all in that lower back, then that means you're not really using your core enough. So try to think of really hollowing out that belly, keeping your spine nice and long and back flat and straight. So today you might just be working here. Otherwise, we're going to start to curl the spine now. So think of tucking the tailbone under, rolling your spine down one vertebra at a time, keeping your fingers reaching forward. Now starting to feel like your shoulder blades are separating Envisioning that you're pressing the lower back down towards the mat. So it feels like your feet are going to lift off. You can shuffle your feet a little further back towards you. Keep squeezing that block. Keep lowering down. Think of really pressing that lower back down, grinding it down. Keep your shoulder blades just hovering off the mat. And then on the inhale, we're going to sit all the way back up. Okay, so we're going to do this two more times. Inhale here, reaching the fingertips forward. Exhale, slowly curl down, pressing that lower back down towards the mat. Keep breathing steadily along the way. And then next inhale, sit all the way back up. And exhale, let's come straight into it, starting to roll down, pressing the lower back down. And next inhale, sitting all the way back up. Can rest here for a moment, move the block out of the way. You might want to hug your knees in towards your chest. Should be feeling those abdominals really starting to work now. Okay, so this time now, we're going to do a similar thing, but without the block between the thighs. So reaching your fingertips forward, slowly start to curl your spine down, grounding down the lower back. You might just stay here and that's already enough today. Really working really hard, pulling your fingertips forward, keep your chin towards your chest, squeezing the inside thighs together and lifting your shoulder blades off the mat. Inhale here. Now on the exhale, sit all the way up, lift your feet off the mat and squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Like you're clamping in, almost like you're preparing for a crow pose. So your fingertips reach forward, separating your shoulder blades and you're squeezing the knees in towards your armpits or towards the chest. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, you can lower the feet flat or maybe this time you wanna keep your feet hovering off the mat. Ground that lower back down, shoulder blades off the mat and then exhale, squeeze in sitting all the way up. Last one in. To extend and exhale to sit all the way back up. You can lower your feet back down. Rest here for a moment. <sighs> Maybe sighing out. So hopefully your core is feeling nice and warm now. <sighs> okay, so we're going to move on now to work on the arms. So we're going to begin by sitting up in a half plank position. Fingers are spread, wrists underneath your shoulders, similar to a tabletop, but we're going to keep the shoulders over your wrists and start to walk the knees back. Almost like you're tucking your tailbone under, 
and really think of a piece of thread pulling your belly button in, hollowing out that belly, pressing your shoulder blades away from each other. Let's hold here for three rounds of breath. Maybe bringing your weight a little bit further forward over your wrists. One more breath here. And then you can push all the way back. Rest here for a moment. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but this time using your block. So we start to get that awareness of the lower half of the body your block or a book or your cushion or a rolled up towel between those thighs. So we get this awareness of that zipping up through the pelvic floor, squeezing your adductors, the inside thighs. Come forward into that half plank position, shoulders over your wrists. Keep squeezing that block, feeling the pelvic floor working, zipping up, your core working. One more breath here. If this is already enough for your arms and your core, you're gonna stay, or now you're going to tuck those toes under, lift your knees off the mat, finding a full plank, squeezing the block with your inside thighs. Hold here for three, two, and one. Lower down, take a rest. Catching your breath, maybe shaking out your wrists. Okay, so the next drill now, we're gonna come from our down dog and we're gonna move back and forth from down dog to a plank. So finding your down dog first, fingers are spread, push those hips back in up. You can take a couple of rounds of breath if this is your first down dog and you need a bit of time to open up into it. Okay, so in your down dog, just being aware if you're a little bit more hypermobile or a bit more bendy in your uh, shoulders and your back, and you tend to flare your ribs out. Okay, so apart from stabilizing the lower back and the shoulders, you really wanna work on switching the core on. So pull the belly in, pull the ribs in, and you'll notice that you need to really use your core strength a lot more. You also get a bit more of a straighter line here in the upper body. So keep hollowing out the belly here. On the inhale, we're going to shift that weight forward now, bringing your shoulders over your wrists, coming into a plank. Exhale, push hips back and up, back to downward facing dog. Let's do this four more times. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, push back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, push back. Two more, inhale, come forward. Exhale, push back. Last round, inhale. And exhale, push back. Okay, you can drop those knees down to rest. Maybe shake your wrists up. Okay, so we're gonna focus on working towards headstand. So now we're gonna do a similar thing but we're going to come down onto the elbows and onto the forearms. So you get used to that placement of your arms on the mat. This is called dolphin pose. So we're going to place the elbows underneath your shoulders. Good way to check is to make sure you can ring your fingers around your elbows. And then for this one, we're going to interlace the fingers in front. Just make sure you're not ripping onto your fingers, just a nice loose interlacing of the fingers. Okay, really grounding down into the elbows, shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your toes under and then same thing, starting to pull the lower belly in, pulling your ribs in and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Just be aware here that your head is off the mat. You're not placing it down. You might find your hamstrings are a bit tighter here and you need to bend your knees a little bit more. That's totally fine. Maybe you can walk your hands, or walk your feet towards your hands. Lift those hips up higher. And just holding here. 10 rounds of breath. Working on really pressing down into the elbows and forearms. 
feeling your shoulders working, feeling your core working. Keep breathing. Five more rounds of breath. Okay, so you can just stay right here or now we're going to find that forward movement into a plank position or a forearm plank. So from dolphin now, come forward, bring your shoulders over your elbows. Maybe you find you can't come quite forward, you need to shuffle your feet back or your hands further forward. Finding that full forearm plank. Imagine you've got that block between your thighs, squeeze it in. And then exhale, push hips back and up. Let's do this four more times, inhale to come forward. Exhale, push hips back and up. Doesn't have to create a very, doesn't have to create a perfect V shape here. Just getting used to that sensation, building that strength in your shoulders and arms. One more round. Nice, and this time we'll lower those knees down. Come to a child's pose with your arms in front or beside, even behind your body. Catch your breath here. Okay. So the last thing we're going to work with now is dolphin walks, so we're going to come back to that dolphin pose. And we're beginning to get used to the feeling of bringing more weight into the arms and also starting to lift those hips a little bit higher up to stack over our shoulders. The whole time though the head is still off the mat. Okay, so we're going to tuck those toes under, lift the hips, remember not to dump into the lower back and let your ribs flare out here, pull the belly in. You can start to look forward towards your thumbs. Inhale to walk your feet in towards your elbows, just as much as you can. If your hamstrings are tight, bend those knees. Exhale to walk your feet back. So you might find it's only a couple of shuffles forward and it doesn't matter. Inhale to walk them in. Exhale to walk your feet up. Let's do three more. Inhale, walk them in. Exhale, walk your feet up. Two more, walk them in. Exhale, walk your feet up. Last one, inhale, walk them in. Exhale, walk your feet up. Gently lower your knees down. And this time, grabbing hold of your fingers behind your back. <sighs> Letting your shoulders round forward. And if you want a deeper stretch, you can squeeze your palms together, squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift those hands away from your lower back. Having a nice release here into your arms and shoulders. Okay, so hopefully that gives you something to work with especially if headstand is one of your goals that you'd like to achieve. Just keep working at these drills to really build that strength into your core and your arms and shoulders, and one day you will get there. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.